Hello again. Yes, I'm in South Auckland in a small pocket called Viscount in Mangere. And the reason why I've been here all morning is because this area bucks the crime stats nationally. Crime stats show that crime's on the way down. Here, however, it's a very different story. This region of uh, counties Manukau had 2,400 burglaries last year. This little pocket itself, you have a 1 in 10 likelihood of being burgled. And that's why today police have been launching Operation Safe as Houses from this area. I'm now joined by David Morris who runs a company called Selector DNA. And this is central to the operation, is it not, David, in the fact that every household in the area is going to be given one of these kits today. I need you to explain to me what's so special about it, because having, having seen it, it is extraordinary. Well, Rawdon, these Selector DNA kits actually are an ability to mark any property that you may have uh, very simply, very effectively, and once it's marked, it's permanently there, and it gives it a unique signature that is actually registered to you. So you showed me that your extremely expensive vase, but I don't want to break that, so I'm going to hide that over here. Let's take your average laptop, okay? And let's just very quickly run through the process here. Um, here's your, here's your, uh, here's a bit of marketing for you. There's your website up on the screen. So you, 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 you yeah, go for it. You just show me how. You, you get your uh, solution out, and you actually just give it a shake, so you actually have some micro dots in this solution as well. Which which is a secondary line of defense. So the micro dots are uniquely coded to this actual uh, solution here. Everybody gets a bottle which is absolutely unique with DNA which cannot be um, uh, uh, repeated anywhere else. Absolutely, it can't be changed even. Uh, not only can it not be replicated, it cannot be mem uh, changed in any way, shape or form. But the simplistic uh, aspect of this kit is that you literally just put a bit of the solution on the actual applicator you put it into nooks and crannies rather than nice flat surfaces, less is best, uh, but literally just mark something like that onto your property. And so the police will come around, they'll show you how to do it with one or two of your items, and then you go around, you can get a hundred odd items uh, with one of these. And then you log into a database you're explaining, which is not just national, but international. That's correct, yes. Uh, New Zealand was the third country in the world to adopt the Selector DNA strategy. There's now 26 countries in the world that are actually operating this system. It's a global database that you actually register your kit to. Very simplistic, again, you just fill out the registration form, place the actual sticker onto this, it gets registered to that global database and it becomes therefore yours. So somebody nicks this laptop and it ends up in Poland, yep. the police over there can use uh, We'll talk about this in a sec, and they can identify it, look on the international database, and say, "Oh, this is from from New Zealand," and send it back over. Absolutely right. This is the. Um, sh just show me this. Uh, I presume this will now work on the computer, will it not? Or yeah. does that have to dry a wee bit? No, no, no. That's absolutely fine. So, that's so we've look. marked this here. On an item like this, we'd probably do one or two markings. Uh, yeah. In this case here, we've put it there. But it grows bright blue under UV light. And the UV light is standard in every police torch now. This so is a standard so all, all police officers are carrying this torch which has this facility. Yep, so police are equipped with UV capability. Which means, of course, that at just a glance they can find out whether a, whether property has been stolen or they can certainly identify who, who the property belongs to. Now, of course, uh, every household in this area is getting one of these uh, in this present operation, but you've already uh, distributed these to schools across the country in a deal with the Minister of Education. What sort of, what sort of results have you had? Yeah, we've had uh, tremendous results there. We've actually put together a program with the Bank of New Zealand who sponsored it. So we've done 1,600 schools across the country so far in the North Island. We'll complete the entire country by next year. Uh, trending is a two-third reduction in burglary across schools after we've introduced the actual strategy to them. Two-third reduction, that's extraordinary, and runs almost to the, well, similar to the 60% we were hearing from uh, Jason Hewitt earlier. And, and of course, um, you, you need buy-in, though, from people to use this, from the police, obviously, to check it, but also from your dealers, your second-hand goods dealers as well. I mean, what's been the response from them? The response is very good, and the police actually interact quite often with the second-hand dealers. They're across the technology. Uh, many of them have actually purchased UV lights, so they're actually out there actively checking it, which, of course, takes away the opportunity for the uh, offender to actually realise cash for the item, which takes away the, the whole purpose of them doing it. Yeah, and this again comes back to uh, what Jason Hewitt was saying the area commander that this is all about prevention that you put you know, much like your burglar arms, you put your stickers up in the window, uh, the sticker which hopefully will be, you know, you're hoping will become yep. uh, recognised uh, nationally and internationally, and uh, therefore the burglar might skip your home and move on to the next. Quite right, and, and in appropriate items as well, you actually have individual stickers in the kit, so we've marked your laptop yep. here, we put a warning sticker on there, it alerts any would-be offenders that the property is marked. 
and now everybody, once I've filled up the database, will know that this computer is mine and it can never be. That, date, that DNA cannot be replicated anywhere in the world ever. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much, David Morrissey, for explaining that. Now, of course, the cost Petra at $85 a kit, but as Jason Hewitt pointed out to me earlier, you think about the cost of sending out a squad car with two officers, the scenes of crime, people, maybe the justice system which is involved afterwards. If, if this system, if this uh, technology can prevent the burglary in the first place, imagine how much money it's actually going to save on the bottom line.